welcome back to another episode of The Grill War with your host, David Shackett. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Grill Warrior. I'm your host, David. I have Troy Smith of uh, T. Roy Cooks from Austin, Texas with us, remote. He's doing a FaceTime on uh, these iPods, uh, iPads, I'm sorry. And what we're going to be doing today is a leg of lamb. You've got about a five pound leg of lamb and we're going to be putting it in a smoker for roughly maybe two and a half, three hours. It all depends what temperature I can get it up to. We've been, um, we've been having some really bad weather. It's, uh, it's Christmas, um, help, me, help me out here, Christmas Eve, yeah. And um, so we're gonna be opening this uh, leg of lamb up and trying to get this thing cooked here. I love me some leg of lamb. I'm telling you. So, so Troy is from Austin, Texas, and he's actually sitting at his pool right now. He's actually sitting at his pool. What temperature is it, Troy? Uh, about 80 right now. About 80. <laughs> actually, actually, it's about 75 here in Atlanta, and it is starting to rain, so I am going to have to hurry up. Uh, I am not going to take it out of the, um, the net that this is in. Would you take it out of the net? No, no, that's fine. It's a leg of lamb? Yeah, a leg of lamb. No, it'll cook easier if, you, if, it's, if it's of uniform roundness. It'll cook evenly. True. I'm going to put four basic ingredients in. I'm going to be putting, uh, actually I'm going to coat it with olive oil first and make it real simple so the spices that I put on here stick. I'm going to be putting black pepper, coarse ground black pepper, uh, smoked kosher salt, which I smoked myself, and uh, granulated garlic, and you got some herbs? I do. I have rosemary. I, I, actually, <laughs> I, I actually forgot <laughs> I forgot the name Rosemary. Yeah, bad day today. <laughs> so I'm going to coat it with a little bit of salt first as the base. Yeah, lamb loves the herbs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does, especially rosemary. Look that. Look yeah, that's a pteranodon. <laughs> Don't look dead. <laughs> Maybe it's after your leg of lamb. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what this is for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I actually I actually made one video of me cutting a pineapple in half with um with his knife. I went real fast and cut it in half. It, it was pretty funny. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Then I slowed. How long, how long are we gonna cook and what temp? Well, I'm gonna. We're up to about 1800 now. <laughs> we're, we're up to about 350. I'm gonna try to get it back down to about 250, 275. I'm gonna bring the temperature up to about uh, 145, 150 on the meat, on the finished. I don't like it. Too, too cooked, and I don't like it too raw. So that's pretty much perfect for me. What temperature do you keep it at, Troy? Uh, about 250, 275 or so is, is fine for length. Yeah. Okay, and I mean, I mean the meat. Oh, the meat internal, yeah, yeah about yeah. 145 ish. You like it around there? Degrees. Yeah. I mean, you can you can really cook lamb like you would beef. Yeah. So I'm, you, don't, you, don't have to, you don't have to do it well done. It actually gets really dried out and tough when you do it well done, just like beef does. Can you see that, Troy? Yes, it looks gorgeous. Yeah, it's, the smell, amazing. Got to put me some... I was there with you, buddy. Oh, I'm telling you, I can, I'll be sending you plenty of pictures in the video when I get through. Well, so precise with your measurements there on the, 
on the run. <laughs> you do it right though, man. You hold your hand way up high so it gets you on there evenly, you know? Absolutely. That's how you're supposed to do it. Yeah, I've been cooking for years. That's how they taught me in the culinary college. Absolutely, me too. I took some classes down in uh, New Orleans, matter of fact, where you're from. Somewhere around there. Uh, actually, French Quarter. <laughs> that's, that's only <laughs> yeah, I took um, took some culinary classes in uh, the French Quarter. <laughs> You're a trip. <laughs> okay, so I've got I've got a pretty good um, amount of all the spices that I need. Are you using lump charcoal or regular charcoal? I am using lump charcoal. I use something called forest lumps, which is a great um, lump. It's out of Serbia. And it's a local company here that brings it, imports it from uh, Serbia. Is that what you sent me and I need to try still? Absolutely. It's good. Right. It's real good stuff. It, it leaves the meat um, really good smoke ring uh, flavor. Um, amazing. So that's it. And I didn't really rub it, rub it, because I, I want the spices to stay on. Once I put it on, I patted it down so it sticks in there. And um, there's a little bit I can do right there. And that's pretty much about, about it. I'm, I'm good to go now. I'll be sticking it in the smoker, and, and I'll be back in just a little while to check it. Ah. Looks gorgeous, and, and lamb is a delicate meat, so you don't want to overpower it with too much flavor. Right, right. This is uh, five pounds. Nice. Going in my smoker. As you can hear, sizzle. That's it, folks. I'll see you back in just a little while.